Hello friends, I'm Dr. Ajmal. I'm a doctor of pharmacy graduate. Uh, I completed my graduation from Alchifa College of Pharmacy, Dindana. Currently, I'm working as a clinical pharmacist in Government Hospital, UAE. I completed my graduation in 2016. After that, I started my career in Aster Means Hospital Calicut uh, as a clinical pharmacist. I have worked there for around three years. After that, I prepared for ministry examinations, MOH, DHA, and for Qatar Prometric also. I qualified these examinations. Today, we are planning to share our experience and knowledge about how to play for these examinations and what are the ways to get a good career in GCC countries after completing pharmacy graduation from India. So we can start the session. When we talk about the pharmacy profession, we all know that it has always a good opportunities abroad, especially in Gulf countries. In India, pharmacy education system is very good, but opportunities are limited. Students after getting graduated really struggling to build a good career in India, so they plan to move overseas. But in order to work as a pharmacist, you have to clear an equalizing examination for the particular country, which is specific for each country. Now I will show you my experience. After completing my PharmD graduation in 2016, including one year of internship from Al Shifa Hospital and Apollo Hospital Bangalore, I start my career as a clinical pharmacist at Aster Mims Hospital Calicut. While working there itself, I set my goal to move to any Gulf country, uh, so I start preparing for its examinations, especially DHA, MOH and Qatar Prometric exams I qualified. After that, I moved to UAE for a visit and I start searching for a job uh, for a good opportunity. I attended many interviews and uh, it took almost one month for me to get a good job that meet my expectations. I believe I put all my sincere effort throughout this month. I think this one month period is a short period of time. So if you are planning to move to any Gulf, Gulf country, uh, at least go for three months visit visa. Or if you have an opportunity to attend the interview from India itself, it would be better. It will always benefit for you if you have more than two years of experience in your field of expertise from a reputed organization from India. Because after completing your graduation, if you prefer to move abroad as a fresher without any work experience from India, it would be difficult for you to find a good job. The reason is you cannot attend their examination without having a uh, sufficient experience. Same time there is an option to work as a trainee pharmacist but for clinical pharmacist position uh, this option is in, uh, it is not an uh, easy option to work as a cl trainee clinical pharmacist. So my personal advice for you is if you want to become a pharmacist or a clinical pharmacist at least uh, work for two years in India and uh, start searching for a job. Once you gain this eligibility to work as a licensed pharmacist the doors you deserve would open for you. I can swear you that if you put your 100% effort for job hunting, you should get what you need. Never be disparate. Same time, you must do some homework before taking your first flight to GCC countries. First prepare a neat and concise biodata. An eye-catching CV or a biodata will let the employer get first impression of you. So first put your efforts on making a very really good CV. Also, collect maximum phone or email contacts of employers and your friends or seniors who has already acquired a good job in these countries. These contacts and connections will help you definitely. Make good contacts with these people and get an idea where, they, where are the upcoming openings. Also, don't forget to create a profile in professional websites like uh, LinkedIn, Naukri Girls, Indeed, uh, Byte.com, etc. There are many. Out of these, uh, I will suggest for you, LinkedIn would be help you, it will help you very much because uh, through the LinkedIn, you can create a professional relationship with employers, managers and many others from your field. If you are a student, then also you can start an uh, account in the LinkedIn and create a professional uh, platform. So if you don't have a LinkedIn account, start it today. So you can start applying for jobs from India itself. Please don't wait to reach here to start applying. Once you are here, you don't waste even one day. You must take a new phone number. Uh, if you are in UAE, you can take a number from here and uh, add it in your CV and uh, then only share with the employer. Always try to send 
emails to the employer in the morning time and the start of the week like sunday monday like that because here in uae the week start from sunday so from my personal experience if you send this email to them in the morning time they, they will be in a refreshed mood and it will help you don't send email every day but you have to remind them like once in two weeks like that if your cv is very impressive uh, maybe uh, he going to call you and you will get a chance for an interview same time you should apply through online websites many organizations hospitals pharmacies have their own websites so uh, log into their website and create a profile and uh, search for the job even for government job they have their own website so start account in their website and search for the job so friends please don't restrict your job search just through online try to meet the pharmacy manager the or the hr manager directly because uh, they may miss your email so if you go and meet them directly uh, it will help you to impress them if you get a 5 minutes talk with them use it impress him with your words i promise this way gonna work sometimes they will remind you and call you back they will shortlist your cv all this can happen i'm telling this from my personal experience but to be frank you will face some difficulties to approach the manager because some hospitals won't let you go inside without any prior appointment anyway try your luck so use all the months all the days and uh, don't rest uh, your time will come your turn will come and don't forget to make follow up with them once you get an interview call it is time to prove your knowledge and skills be confident and uh, for the interview dress up professionally keep proper timing take your relevant documents with you be pleasant and respectful in front of the interviewer each word you speak to the interviewer would decide your destiny so use it wisely even though the competition in pharmacy profession is nowadays very high so but we cannot say that there is no demand for this profession always pharmacy field or the medicine field is having good opportunities so if you put your maximum effort you can find a good job and uh, you can build a good career abroad so guys i wish you all the very best for your future god bless you all